Yeah, the importance of an arts council is, is actually a, a really interesting uh, challenge in a sense because we're not a museum, we're not an art gallery, we're not a theater and all of you know those sort of I think more publicly understood or recognized organizations depend more on bums and seats or they depend on attendance so they're very visually present people get it I get what a gallery is I get what a museum is but an arts council tends to work more as I say in partnership and not so visibly you know if we were to talk about you know Campbell River downtown and say Spirit Square and and the banners murals probably nobody knows that that's what the Arts Council does because it's not that kind of we don't have that kind of visibility. We work more behind the scenes. We try to support the mandate of other organizations to give them tools and resources to assist with what it is they want to do. Uh, we are not here because the Arts Council uh, is its mandate. We want to be a resource for those partner organizations to bring arts, heritage, culture to the kind of work that they do as a resource and tool for them. So our partnership was really based on trying to assist other organizations with the fulfillment of their mandates, what they're trying to do, and we can play very much a supporting role in that and be a resource for them, which we have discovered, uh, especially over the last 20 years, culturally, how valuable the arts can be um, for the state of health of communities. Of course, communities grow and change and develop, uh, and the challenge has always been for councils to be able to respond to those changes. The question becomes, well, what does it change into? You know, what, what comes next? The thing we wanted to focus on were two or three major kind of aspects of what change would imply. And one of them was the concept of community health. Uh, and by community health, we're talking about a broad spectrum of how we define the health of a community, especially in a transitional time. And by health, we then look at two basic components. One, of course, is the individual. And we, you know, we're talking about both physical health, uh, we're talking about mental health, we're talking about cultural health, uh, perhaps spiritual health, in a sense, or emotive health. It's, you know, when we look at the health of a person, it's, it's not one thing, it's a combination of many things. Uh, and then alongside that, you're looking at the collective of a community. How do, how do we define health within, uh, say, economic terms? How do we define health within social terms? How do we define health within environmental terms? You know, how do we define health within cultural terms? And so quickly, you've got a lot of aspects there of both collective and individuals. What, what we discover that goes along with that discussion of health is that no one organization or no one sector can do that alone. You need to be addressing this broad spectrum of, of how we define health and the, the challenges that go with it, you need to do that in partnership. Alongside that complexity of health, we also wanted to work with the kind of infrastructure of a town and we wanted to kind of focus on what we call creative placemaking. And that is paying attention to your, the experience of being in your community or in a community. What do people remember? In that discussion, it's very important to pay attention to your details. People notice details when they visit communities. Uh, the small objects, even if it's crosswalks, if it's sidewalks, if it's utility boxes, if it's a light standard, posts, you know, banner posts. So we really decided that as an Arts Council we wanted to focus on those two main uh, thrusts of placemaking and this concept of community health. So, you know, in terms of programming, we have a banner project, you know, we have banners in Spirit Square, we have done a number of murals in town, we have worked with crosswalks, 
uh, you know, we have worked with small utility boxes to larger boxes, uh, the arts in the airport, we're in the hospital. Uh, as I say, we're partnering with social service agencies now. Uh, we're trying to work along the sea walk, trying to create an experience for people along the walk, especially the drive as people enter the city. Uh, so we have programs that are looking at, at kind of all of those little aspects of, of the community. And we're also anchored in the Sybil Andrews Cottage and Walter Morgan Studio, uh, which is, a, in fact, it's the only heritage property on the Campbell River Registry currently. Um, and that gives us an opportunity to integrate heritage into this sense of a creative placemaking, uh, but also kind of quality of experience to learn about you know, Sybil Andrews and her importance on the international stage, uh, but also the facility uh, as we manage it is as a community group rental uh, facility, you know, subsidized rent, to low barrier, low access, um, as really, in a sense, almost going back to what Arts Council started with, uh, you know, in the in the late 60s, early 70s, trying to foster small groups, and you know, we have uh, probably over 300 rental periods a year now in this facility, from all manners of small painting groups to bonsai to drumming groups to quilters, uh, you know, sewing groups. Uh, we have. A, musical acts in here but these are all organizations that that are in need of, of a kind of low-cost facilities to be able to meet and gather um, and so we really are anchored within the, the property here at, at Sybil Andrews in Willow Point um, and again you know looking yes we're facilitating these small groups but the social aspect of those small groups and their socialization and their sense of community health again uh, is really a valuable aspect of what we do here. In summary I mean the Arts Council really works more invisibly in communities but it is uh, very much that support system for all of the the combination of that broad spectrum of small to large things that are, I think, trying to trying to make buoyant the a quality of life and quality of experience here. So, in short, you know, I think it's it's recognizing that the work we're doing now is integrated into the community, and as the community shifts or as challenges shifts, we can be part of that shift. And, and try to identify what's needed moving forward.